I heard that your mom got cancer. How's she doing? You can say that. That's okay. Good morning, everybody. Uh, hopefully you like the change of scenery. Um, you know, I, I, <laughs> I try to keep things fresh. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. And I have it. Hold on. Do you hate my music videos? If you just don't like my music videos, that's fine. Uh, I'm doing another new topic, so we'll see how this goes. This video is about social lessons. And what I mean by that is I'm going to teach me. It's going to share my knowledge and my wisdom and all of my experiences that's made me who I am. I'm going to teach you some lessons I've learned that I think everybody should learn. Now, you might talk to some people that say Connor Walsh is the last person that, that you should take social advice from. I've been called anti-social. I have been told that I look unfriendly. I have been told that I'm mean. I've been told that I don't make a good first impression. And I think... And you know, I would say that there's a good argument for most of those things on that list. I pretty much had to pay Summer to be a guest on this channel. So... Despite all the things that people say, I truly do believe this to be good advice. This isn't a joke. You're probably sick of watching me monologue, so I might as well just get right into it. So I was at a restaurant with my family and I saw my third grade teacher there. Now, mind you, I'm 19 years old. I'm going into my sophomore year of college. It wasn't even my homeroom third grade teacher. It was just another teacher in the third grade that I had every day for like 45 minutes. Me and this woman owe each other nothing. We weren't friends. I don't think she even knew my name when I was her student, which is fine. I'm not upset about that, but let's, let's not start acting, right? So I'm in this restaurant and her and my mom make eye contact and they recognize each other. They weren't friends, they just kind of recognize each other. And her name's Mrs. Rinaldi. She walks up and she gives my mom a hug. At this point, I know I have to say hello. Hi, Mrs. You know, I'm not that enthusiastic about it to kind of set the tone of the conversation. I'm like, hi, Mrs. Rinaldi. And she's like, hi. And then she wants to give me a hug. And that's fine. So then I, kind of okay. I give her a hug. And here's where the mistake comes in. After the hug, Mrs. Rinaldi then proceeds for a good minute and a half to wave her in and out of conversation. She can't decide whether or not she wants to talk more or leave, right? And that's not okay for anyone. It's not okay for her. She's not enjoying herself. It's not okay for me. I didn't want to say hello in the first place. You don't have to drag me through the coals in your sad attempts at, at indecisive conversation. It's rude to both parties. You don't have to be rude to yourself. You certainly don't have to be rude to me. I don't appreciate it. You don't appreciate it. So that's what the first lesson's about. I'll title this lesson, How to Interact with an Acquaintance. So, for the first segment... <laughs> can you edit... Can you edit words going across the say first segment? So, for my first segment... <laughs> wait, wait, I'll do this one. So, for my first segment, uh, it's How to Interact with an Acquaintance, uh, just in passing. If you both make eye contact and it looks like a conversation is bound to happen, then walk up, say hi, do your greeting, ask how they're doing, they'll give you a short small talk answer that they're hoping is going to get them out of the conversation, reward that behavior with either a handshake or a hug. If you don't have to touch them, don't do it. I don't like being touched. Really by like most of the people I know, I think. I think there's probably, I think there's five people that I would allow to touch me and probably only like, probably one person that I, this isn't about me. Anyways, if you don't have to touch them, don't touch them, okay? 
That's how it should go. You do not drag conversation. If there's uh, something you're aching to talk to them about, like, and I mean truly aching, not like, oh, how's school? Like, something like, oh, I heard that your mom got cancer. How's she doing? You can say that. That's okay. Probably, well, maybe not. They probably don't want to talk about that. But, uh, like, I, how about this? I heard you won a gardening competition. That's awesome. That's okay to talk about. That's okay for acquaintance level conversation. Forget what I said about the cancer. Don't. Don't bring up cancer with an acquaintance. I feel like you get it. Like, is that is that a good enough teaching? Keep it short, keep it sweet. Don't, if you have to touch, touch. But if you do a handshake or a hug, the conversation ends there. That's the party and that's the horrible conclusion that, that kind of that sweet release that you both got out of it, okay? It's, it's you touch, you handshake, or you hug, and then it's, well, it was nice seeing you. And that's it, okay? So yeah, that's my tip on acquaintances. Here's the outro. Fuck, why? <laughs> if you like this social, uh, a lesson on how to be a social creature according to Connor, you don't, you don't even have to leave a like. Just implement, implement my tips in your life. And if you already use the same tips that, that I just gave, then give it a like. And give it a thumbs, uh, give it a thumbs up. My nose is so itchy. And give it a subscribe. Give my video, give my video a subscribe. All right. Oh, also, how about the change of scenery? Do you like the change of scenery? Would you like it to be like this every time? Obviously, I can't make it rain and be like lush every time. But how is it, how is this, huh? How about me? I have been told... That I, I've been told that I don't make a good first impression.